Today I'm going to show you how to put together this free tulip candy box from Simply Crafty SVGs. So first these are all the pieces that get cut out. And just to show you all the little pieces, there's not much to it. Two sides in the tulip and the uh, acetate window. And here I normally don't show you but I do use uh, chalk with the uh, Fantastics sticks to create some blending around the edges, chalking on the edges. I like to do that. It gives it like a little mini frame. The reason I use chalk and not ink a lot is that um, I'm not very eloquent at times with my hand. Anyways, I'm kind of a klutz. So I can erase this with uh, before it sets. Um, I do like the blending. You can do that with some inks too, but I find it um, more difficult for me. I've tried it. It's just due to lack of practice. So it just creates a, like a little soft edge around the edge of uh, the pieces. Especially the tulip, it'll uh, show up the little petals better. Then once we have that done, and I also actually before I go on, um, I do this on a piece of paper because uh, I can move it Yeah, when it I'm done. So I don't have to worry about wiping off my mat and having excess chalk. So that's the reason why I had that little piece of paper there. So now we'll piece together the top tulip piece. And I started and put it on the wrong side. But that's okay because uh, that'll be covered. I just created, got rid of the excess glue, and then the other one will cover it anyway, so there was, I didn't, really didn't need to uh, clean it up. I'm human, I, I do that all the time. That's it, so we'll be ready to put together the box. So I use a transparency to cut out that little, the little hole. You can either cover it or not. I have a little piece that you can use a acetate put a little acetate window in. But if you do like a bag of candy or something like that, the bag is essentially the same thing as having, having a little window. So you, if you feel like you don't want to do this or don't have the um, like the acetate or the transparency, um, then don't. I wouldn't do it. I would just put a bag of candy in there if that's what you're going to use it for. So I just attach that. Now you can see Doing that first kind of helps it uh, make sure that the glue attaches as well. Then we'll just go ahead and put those center those uh, side panels. And I d did emboss the panels uh, after I cut them. It's with the Sizzix embossing folder set. I'll note it in the notes below. I don't have a link to it. I think it may be retired, but you probably can find it if you like it. It's called Starry Night, which is weird. It looks like flowers to me. And then I just place the stem of the tulip first. And then we'll overlap that top tulip uh, flower piece. Real simple. It's really fast to make these two. I'm just going to angle it around that opening, the, the stem. Then I'm going to use remnants of foam dots. I don't like to get, there's no point in wasting this. You, you know, buy these uh, little foam dots and these other pieces are still useful. So this is kind of like pop-up dots. I want to pop up the tulip a little bit because I think it looks fun. It looks more dimensional. So I just use those, that excess and then I have more to play with. Nobody ever sees it anyways. And then just place it uh, overlapping the end of the stem. And now we'll create the actual close the box. So you can see you, ju you can just fold it flat one side over. 
and then we'll add glue to that side tab. Then it will fold over quite perfectly to match up that edge with the tab fold. Apply plenty amount of pressure, make sure it's secured. And then once you get it all secured on the side, go ahead and glue on the bottom tabs. I usually do the long tab first. You kind of rub around the edge and you can reach in or use a utensil tensil to reach in to apply pressure from within. I use my pick me up tool from Silhouette because it was handy. I had the blunt edge on it so it could reach down. And then uh, glued the other two sides. You could use a double sided, really strong double sided uh, sticky tape too, like the red line. I just use glue out of habit. It's harder for me to pull the backing off the the um, the tape, the double sided sticky tape. Sometimes I use it though for that purpose. So pretty much that's it. That's the box. You kind of flip in, you can put a little treats inside and then flip down the top. It's a fun, quick, and free project to make. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching.